Stephen Miller was my cousin, uh, but we were raised, you know, like brothers. Um, you know, our, our families kept us together. We, you know, he lived in New York. I lived in California when, I, when we were young. And uh, he would, you know, we'd, I'd go to New York and, and visit the family and, you know, Stevie was always there. So every summer I'd spend the summers basically with Stevie and we grew up like that together. Um, when he was a teenager, uh, he ended up in California. He moved to California. And so then we were close because I was still out in California. Stevie was, you know, great with animals. Uh, he loved, he loved the grizzly bear. We had a grizzly bear, Dakota. Um, you know, CV spent every day with him, you know, bottle feeding, um, you know, from infancy, raising him, you know, like his own child. Um, no, he loved those animals, you know, and, and usually when we, when we, when we get one in, it's a, you know, we get babies and we raise them from infancy and, you know, we all, you know, the whole village raises the baby, you know, and Stevie was just, he, he had a natural knack, for, you know, working with animals. He was really good at it. I've been raising exotic animals uh, for over 25 years, uh, working, you know, in the entertainment field. Um, I've done some of the biggest animal scenes ever done. I've built my business on action, staged attacks, um, creating, you know, an out of control look, you know, but with control around the set, you know, I mean, you know, dangerous looking animals, snarling, attacking, you know, um, for huge movies. Back in the late 90s, you know, he was, he was working with animals daily and uh, then started, he found the internet and started, you know, learning how to build and design websites. And I worked, started working animals more part-time. And then um, over the years, you know, he became more busy with the internet, working the animals less. And, uh, you know, ended up with Share Now and this opportunity to build this, you know, huge empire. We, we were filming a ShareNow.com uh, video promotion, and it was designed to help create some buzz on the internet. So it was a clever, you know, a clever skit that involved um, a grizzly bear. And uh, Stevie wanted to, you know, be the character in this skit. Stevie was bonding with the bear. He drove up, he came, he, he, was, he was hanging with the bear, talking to him, you know, for the day. You know, he had, you know, he hadn't seen him in a while. I did a photo shoot with him a few months prior, but hadn't seen him in a while. So he came up and started bonding with the bear, you know, talking to him and hanging out with him through the fence. And this bear is real friendly and, uh, you know, likes people and loves to play. You know, so, you know, Steve was just getting ready to, you know, wrestle the bear. All the protocols were, were taken, you know. We, we set the location up, you know, based on what we were doing with the bear. So the plan was for Stevie to, to wrestle the bear. So the bear had access to Stevie and we set the hotline up to keep the bear contained within the area we needed to do this and to protect the camera. So the bear had access to Stevie. We brought the bear out, we got the bear next to him, and you know, the, the, uh, the bear was uh, supposed to start out next to him and then they would start the stage attack. The bear was supposed to take him out, you know? And uh, the bear basically, I think, caught him off guard. You know, I, I specialize in this. And, I've, and, and because I do this kind of work, you know, we've created uh, the best safety procedures there are. You know, we set the standard because we're putting ourselves in the most you know, vulnerable position you can be in with these animals on almost every job I do because I get the crazy ones, you know? So 
you know, we've always had the best safety procedures. You know, my motto is if you can't save somebody within a matter of seconds, you shouldn't be doing this. And that's the truth. And we got the fucking bear off of them within a few seconds, and it was too late. My last memory, without seeing the footage, my last memory is the bear was like, like acting like he was gonna lick him or kiss him. And he got close to him and then he went for his neck. And, you know, Stevie just wasn't ready for it. You know, if Stevie was, was ready for it, had his hands up, you know, the animal wouldn't have grabbed him by the neck. He got bit in the neck. <sighs> he was trying to breathe. He was bleeding. He collapsed. We were up on a hill. I knew we needed to get an ambulance fast. One of the girls that just got the bear put away called 911. I was holding Stevie. He lost consciousness pretty quick because he was having trouble breathing. So I knew that we had to start driving him to the hospital because the place is remote. You know, it's not right in the city. It's outside the city limits. We had, we had the 911 operator on the phone. We were getting instruction. I was breathing for him. I cleared the pathway. I did everything I could to save him. I tried, I was breathing for him the whole time we waited for that ambulance. I mean, we waited, you know, however long it took. We worked on him the whole time. We, we just, we, we prayed that, you know, you know, he wouldn't die. Because <laughs> he was my brother. And he was my best friend. He called me every night. Every day we talked. He called me every night to check on me to see how I was doing. Not just with the animals, but just you know, how my head was that day, you know? Because he knew I lived real remote up on top of this mountain with these animals, you know? And he would, he, he helped keep me sane, you know? He, he was, I need him. I need him now. <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, Rocky's, uh, you know, He's gonna be staying at, at my place. I mean, he's got a home with me. You know, I, I, don't, I don't blame him for killing Stevie. I don't think he tried to kill him. So I don't, I don't blame him for that. You know, I, 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 just, I really, you know, believe that it was an accident. I guess my big concern now is Stevie's family, you know, what they're going through, but what's, you know, what's going to happen. You know, Stevie, um, you know, he brought, he, he, he brought a lot home, you know, he, they really depended on Stevie.